Hello everyone, JJFlip5 flipping in for another Minecraft video. And today I will be exploring the desert and... Ooh, what's this? Is this a desert house? Oh my gosh, there's diamond blocks inside. I want to get the... No! No! What's going on? No, I don't want to be falling. No! No, please! Let me go! Why can't I break the... No! Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, man. That sucks. I'm gonna go kill myself. Because that sucks. Oh, and now it's gonna take forever. Yeah. Seriously? Alright, well, I'll see you guys in the video. No! I don't want to die again! No! And I can't... Oh. Yeah, I'll see you guys. I'll see ya. In a Kia. And I'll also teach you how to make this awesome monstrosity. Okay, so if you want to see how that was just done, keep watching. Because this is this is a tutorial, yeah. I'm going to teach you how to make that awesome thing. So let's see. You can make this trap, I'm pretty sure, any size you want. Yeah, pretty much any size. Just depends on how much redstone and things like that you want to use. So what else are we going to need? We're going to need lava. We're going to need... Oh yeah, I should probably give you guys an item list. We're going to need sticky pistons. We're going to need redstone. We're going to need redstone torches. We're going to need redstone repeaters. We're going to need any kind of pressure plate. We're going to need lava, which can be kind of hard to get if you're in survival. We're also going to need cobwebs, which will also be kind of hard to get. Unless you fight a lot of spiders. And we're going to need sand... And any kind of block you choose. And one last thing is we're going to need signs. So I'll put that right there. Um, just for the video's sake, I'm going to make it a 5x5. Five 1, five. One, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Because I don't want to make this too big. So you're going to have to, well I want to make it plenty big but not take too long, you're going to have to dig it whatever, by whatever, and then four blocks deep. So, yeah, and this will work best in a desert biome, because your friends will just think, hey, it's a cool house in the desert, and they won't suspect a thing. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, after you get this dug out two, four blocks, which I'm almost done doing, you will need to put lava all over the floor. And this is, darn it, harder if, the, it's harder to put lava on the floor when you have more, uh, space, more, a bigger area. So I'd stick with a 4x4 four four or maybe even a 2x2. Two two. So that's all the lava we'll need. We can just throw the bucket into the lava so we have space for our sign. And then we'll need cobwebs right on top. And this trap can be reset. All you have to do is put more signs and more sand. And more lava probably because I think the sand kills the lava. So we'll throw the cobwebs into there. And it's time for the actual trap stuff. So we're going to need to dig a little trench right along here. And then dig somewhere for that trench to connect up to. So we want the block to be here, which means the piston has to be back here. Okay, sorry, I'm just thinking to myself. I will show you all how to do everything. So we want 
the black when the piston is fully extended to be right here. Right? So we gotta put them that far back. Oops. Okay, yeah. Come on. Alright, and uh, do we go back here? As many blocks as we need to go, and I think we'll have to go a couple blocks. Two, to be exact. Yeah, definitely two. Because what we're going to do is put repeaters back here. And depending on the size of the pit you have, you might need to put repeaters on this part that I'm doing right now. Because it might not reach far enough. But it might. You never know. Okay, so it depends on where you want to put your door. You want to put your door here. You want to put your pressure plate here. Which means you want to dig the trench to right here. And then under the pressure plate, you're just going to do this. And I think the redstone will easily be able to travel up to here. And then we can do a redstone inverter, which works just like that. So when redstone goes to here, this turns off, which is exactly what we want. Because when you step on the pressure plate, we want these pistons to go in. So we're going to put the sand back on. We're going to put the pressure plate down. And here, let's just see how it works. So yeah, that's how that works. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to get this all covered up so that your friends don't think anything is bothering the natural terrain. I don't... I just said that completely wrong. So your friends don't think anything's going on. Because uh, if your friends suspect that you're trying to kill them, they probably won't go in your house. Because, you know, people usually don't come in your house if you want to kill them in your house. Because, I mean, that's just common sense, right? So then... Now that we've got that down, we want to put... Oh, I forgot how terrible it is to put signs down. We want to put... Come on. Okay, so if the sign mechanic is all messed up, I'm going to be really angry. Because... Oh, come on, 1.8. Are you serious? I've never done this in 1.8. Okay, um, I'll be right back when I see if I can figure this out. Okay, so I'm back and I figured out the problem. Uh, the latest version that this part of the trap actually works in is 1.7.10. So if you just put your world, or if you just uh, quit the game and go to profile settings and change the version that you're using to 1.7 it will work but it will clear your inventory out when you join for some reason so uh... yeah you're just gonna have to get your stuff back so if i were you i'd probably put it in a chest if this was survival uh... it might not work the same for survival but i know it does for creative and now once you've got all your signs down you just put sand over the top right I'm gonna mark off the edges just so that I know where everything is when I get to building stuff yeah because uh, I do not want to be building on top of the trap because I don't know it's just something that I don't want to do you can do it it wouldn't hurt anything it's just I don't like to do stuff like that alright so say let's build a house that somebody would normally build somebody being me now I would normally build a house about four blocks tall Excuse me. 
and yeah, four blocks tall, a couple blocks, whatever your traps dimensions are. And then for the frame, I would put cobblestone, right? So for the corners, geez, is this regular cobblestone? No. It's not regular cobblestone because it was in the decorations. Duh. Alright, well, I would use regular cobblestone and peaceful mode. And I would put it like that and make it around here. Because, you know me. Sorry about that. Had to turn my mic off for a second because there was some stuff going on in the background. I didn't want you guys to hear it because it's annoying. Alright, uh, and then I'd go build the door frame. Alright. And you could put in a wooden door, but if you put in a wooden door, they wouldn't have to step on the pressure plate. So if I were you, I would put in a iron door. And uh, to make it more likely that they'll actually get through in time without falling, without the trap going off, then I would do that. And uh, then I'd put wood. I don't know, this is going to be kind of a crappy house because it's lopsided. It's off. Uh, then I put wood right here. Make some window frames. And this is just like a low-grade house for me. I don't really like building this kind of house because you know it's all crappy. And you know what? Just because I like to be fancy. Oh, we're gonna find some glass panes to put in here. Wait, no, because maybe. I don't know. Yeah, glass panes are more efficient. I mean, eco-friendly or whatever. Huh. But I don't know anyone who puts their glass panes up that high. Uh, I'll be right back when I build, fin when I'm finished with the house. Okay, so the house is built and it's looking crappy. Because, you know, this is just a tutorial. So, as you can see, if you get inside or whatever and your friend is outside and you're like, Hey, come on in. Because you can actually stand on this. So, that's good. But, uh, yeah. So, I'm going to quickly fly through the roof if I can. Get my way out. And, yeah, I just did that because I don't want to connect to the glass panes. And I didn't want to uh, make the roof too high. For some, what the heck was that? I don't know. I don't care. All right. So say your friend is super happy, right? And he's got like full diamond. He's got a diamond sword, and a diamond tool set. He's got a bunch of awesome diamonds in his inventory. He's like. Hey, look at all the stuff I got. Alright. And you're like, dude, don't be a jerk. And he's like, hey, look at all this awesome stuff I got, and you didn't get any of it. And you're like, well, why don't you come and say that to my face? So I'm going to switch my game mode to survival. And he's like, alright, I will. No! Ah! And then you can't break falling sand, right? And... If you make it as big as I did, what the heck is that? You won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to get out the edges. 
Now, you might be able to make it through the cobwebs if you really want to live. Okay, there we go. That's what... Uh, what the heck? There's some glitches. But yeah, then all the sand breaks. Then you might be able to break the cobwebs. But if you do break the cobwebs, it's actually not good for you. Because you'd fall into the lava faster. So, basically... Oh no! I'm down to two hearts! Please help me! Oh no, I don't want to die and lose all this stuff. So, yeah, that's... That's how you build the trap. Uh, game mode. You're creative. And then if you want to come back in here... For some reason those did not break. Don't know why. Some kind of glitch, because these did break and they weren't supposed to. Oh... Those did break right there, but then these fell down into that place, then they got pushed out. That's what that, that's, that's what happened. Okay. So yeah, no, it wasn't a glitch. It was just what's, what happens. But yeah, the latest version that this will work in, like the newest version, is 1.7.10. It will not work in 1.8. Point zero or 1.8.3 because they got rid of the sign effect. Now, if they bring it back in like 1.8.4 or some kind of snapshot or something, you will be able to do this in 1.8, but right now you cannot because I thought that this was too OP for 1.8 or something. I don't like how Minecraft nerfs a lot of stuff in like pretty much every update. Oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, it's this easy to reset the trap. You don't need new cobwebs. You don't need new lava because when the sand hits the lava and it's falling, apparently it uh, it destroys itself, which is cool, I guess. So yeah, all you'll need is more sand and more signs. If you want to do something like have an end portal down there or something to teleport your friend to the end where he won't be able to escape, you can do that because this is a 5x5. Five five. Yeah. And uh, there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do. But yeah, that's, uh, that's the tutorial for today. So, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will go around to the other side of this house, because you probably don't want to see the nasty front I made. You could do just one door, but if, if you have two doors, it will be more likely that they will get through by the time that the sand falls. Uh, if you really want somebody to come into your trap, what you could do is... <sighs> Broke my own windows. How irresponsible I am. You could put, like, a chest with... Uh, just whatever. Or if you really want them to come in, you could do something like put a chest around it and... Uh, any kind of diamonds or whatever. Let's say you want them coming so bad, you're willing to waste all those diamonds. Well, not waste, just a uh, place, I guess. It's not wasting because they don't actually fall. So it's like, holy crap, there's diamond blocks and a chest in there. And they would probably go for it, right? So I'm going to end the video off here. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. You don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, because subscribers aren't my main concern, it's views, but you know. I mean, subscribe if you liked the video. Because I will have more trap tutorials like this in the near future, because I want to build more traps, and I want to show you guys more traps. So, go check out the Minecraft Noobs channel. Link may be in the description. Uh, go check out Bearded Candy and Chaotic Vortex. Links may also be in the description. 
Oh wow, I broke one cactus and I got a hundred of them. That's awesome. And what the heck? There we go. I keep the, the heck. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. See that, guys? I'm gonna see if I can take a screenshot. Come on, what is gonna happen? Alright, yeah, I think I got a screenshot. Okay. Uh, and. Uh, yeah, that's it. Check out the Minecraft Noob Cap Vortex Beard Candy if you liked. Like, comment, and subscribe. Not necessarily in that order. And. I think that's about it. So. Yeah. JJ Flip 5 flipping out with another Minecraft video. And I will see you later. Goodbye.